Good morning. I'm in my hometown where I grew up with one of my good buddies, Scotty Brown. He's agreed today to take us on a tour of the Dead Lakes. Now, unbelievably, I've lived here my whole life and I've never gone on the Dead Lakes. That's kind of wild, isn't it? <laughs> yep. It's a beautiful day. It's about 6.30 a.m. We're going to go spend the day on the Dead Lakes, and this guy claims he doesn't know a lot about it, but <laughs> you get him wound up going, he'll tell you all kind of interesting things here. about Scott, it. Scott, you so want to tell us a little bit about this boat? Yeah, this is just a common bateau, they call it. It's just a 14-foot aluminum bateau that uh, most people around here use. Yeah, they're very small. If you know how to work this boat right, you can go right up and over that log. They're very maneuverable. And we'll do that today. Yeah. <laughs> the water's up high right now, as you can see. It's going to be a little different because we're not going to have the obvious channels that are real obvious when the water's a little bit lower. So it's all going to kind of look like channels everywhere. And we're going to have to go slow a lot of places because you're not sure if you're in the right channel or not if you don't know the area really well like i don't but uh <laughs> he says this guy these normally aren't underwater but the water is so high right now from uh, a lot of rain uh, how did the dead lakes get its name this is part of the chipola river the dead lakes is actually kind of like the lower end of the chipola river and it ties into the apalachicola and the Apalachicola currents formed a sandbar, which kind of backed up the water and filled in the floodplain here and killed off a lot of the, the trees. There's a lot of ball cypress, oaks, willows, tupelo gum trees, all things like that, that uh, when it killed off a lot of the trees, that's where it derived its name from. Okay. This lake is 6,700 acres. Honey, are you excited about this trip? I am. <laughs> <laughs> It's not the mountains and it's not hiking, but... It's beautiful, though. Okay, okay pick up and shove it back. I may have to get out. Oh, my God! <laughs> okay. I kind of grew up like this on these little boats all on the Apalachicola River. Scotty, aren't we supposed to crank the motor before we push out in the water? <laughs> what the fun is that? <laughs> and here we go. We got our B-roll girl today. Are you going to be getting quality B-roll? Yep, I'm going to try. You know, when it comes to the Dead Lakes, I'm kind of amateurist right now, so. Okay, we'll, so we'll go up towards, since we're this close, we'll go toward the West Arm Creek Bridge first, and then we'll go back down the creek into the lakes okay. after that. Stump monsters. They show us where there's stumps underwater. I don't know what he was talking about it not being as pretty. This is a beautiful place. Even with the water this high. See, I'm still recording. I am. So, Scotty, are there alligators in here? There is a lot of alligators in here. Are they pretty skittish, though? Yeah, I mean, they're they're probably more scared of us than we are of them. They, as soon as they see us, they get gone. So we not uh, may not see them, even though there's a ton of them in here. No, it's easier to see them at night when you're shining with the light and you see their eyes. A lot of wildlife in the Dead Lake. I mean, you've got alligators. Coons, possums, all types of birds. We'll be seeing a couple of big bird nests, some osprey nests here and there. Some people think they're bald eagles, but there are some bald eagles here. Yeah. Well, it's not the beginning because it's already passed for the Tupelo. That's a Tupelo uh, tree? I'm not sure what it looks like at that stage right there, but I know the Tupelos start out at a piece size thing and it grows into 
full of big barbel and it's got little spikes off of it and that's what the the bees seek out okay and it's the best honey in the world oh, and yeah. i think today too we may go to smiley's bee apiary later this afternoon and let you guys see some tupelo honey and I, I know everybody thinks something about where they live is the best in the world but legitimately i think the tupelo honey from this town is probably the best honey on the planet it is and <laughs> that's not my opinion that's <laughs> tens of thousands of the people who come here for a Tupelo honey festival just to buy it. It's very expensive though. That's what we were known for. Tupelo yeah. Honey. We were known lakes. yep, dead lakes and Tupelo honey, so you're going to get to see both of them today. to the store and buy chewing tobacco and cigarettes and <laughs> the world has definitely changed. Right here, uh, Scotty was just telling me that these uh, pilings here are from the 30s, and this was an old game warden shack back in that day. If I can get up here without falling, it's right here. That's a long time ago. We're still in West Arm Creek, which is leading to the Dead Lakes, so we haven't even made it to the Dead Lakes yet. The mouth of West Arm Creek, right here ahead of us, we're fixing to come into the Dead Lakes. We're entering the Dead Lakes right now. This is called Gaskin Side Camp. Yeah. And this is their dock. It's a really nice dock. Man, what a beautiful place. Don't want to have a beverage, honey? You wanna... Yeah. There's a assortment of Coke, Cokes in there. Whatever you want in there. What do you want? Um, I'm gonna drop this down in that ice, dude. Yeah. Let's see, I think I'll take a... I still got one to finish right here. I think I'll take a Fresca. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't they still make said, those? Yeah. Yes. I can't believe it. I went to the store the other day and I saw them on the shelf. I'm like, honey, there, there's Fresca. <laughs> you try one here. Oh, I've, I've had them a while back at, when I was at the prison about a year or two ago. We had a guy that that's all he drank. You weren't in Fresca. prison though, right? <laughs> <laughs> I felt like it. <laughs> Did you have an account where they put some money on there and you bought Frescas? <laughs> <laughs> but I did bring the most important thing on the trip today. You know just what? In we case. forgot that. So. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, that was a big woodpecker. It's uh, part of the floodplain back in here. And this is cool. There are so many big birds and giant ancient old cypress trees wow. pretty cool there might be one maybe 
two fish in here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, maybe a couple <laughs> fish in here. If you came right here at night, it would look like red glowing lights all over at night with gator eyes in places Kinda like eerie, this. Huh? It's beautiful out here when the colors are out in the fall. We're in the northern part of Florida, so here it's a little cooler, a little more seasonal, and we have a little fall. <laughs> I wouldn't call it like a North Carolina fall, but you do get some color here, and that would be beautiful. experience anything like this. Were you expecting this? No. I really didn't know what to expect actually. Ooh. Just hit a log. <laughs> I, don't I just can't up. believe you grew up here and never been here. I that, can't that, either. That amazes me. Well we live in Panama City and we rarely go to the beach. That's true too. <laughs> You, sometimes you take for granted the Where you live. things that are right in your yeah. own backyard. You don't realize what you're sitting on. Yeah, it would be fun to go fishing. Yeah. What's on the menu today? Sandwiches. Ham and turkey. God, these are good. If I ever left Julie for another woman, it would be a really good daddy. I've got a box of those at home right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate this. We appreciate you taking us, man. Thank you. Well, I don't know if it's what y'all expected or not, but more. More. Way more.